Hi, I'm Dr. Malone. Welcome to Chapter 19, Homeostasis, Reproduction, and Development. Baby Bust Facing dwindling births, Denmark searches to resolve problems with infertility. Hmm. Ooh. A woman slides a bra strap off her naked shoulder. In Danish, a seductive man's voice asks, can sex save Denmark's future? The commercial, which aired on Danish television, then switches to a view of an empty playground. The commercial, produced by a travel agency, encourages responsible Danes to book a romantic holiday with the company's ovulation discount and try to conceive while on vacation. The ad concludes with a large banner proclaiming, Do it for Denmark. The birth rates did reach a 27-year low in the year 2014 in Denmark, a Nordic country in Northern Europe. When asked, most Danish couples said they like to have two or three children, yet the present fertility rate is only 1.73 children per family, not high enough to maintain Denmark's current population. Replacement rate population growth is two children per couple, right? Two people, when they croak, have two kids, those replace them, replacement rate. 1.73 is not replacement rate. In fact, one in 10 children in Denmark is conceived using some sort of reproductive technology. We see more and more couples needing to get assisted fertility treatment. Bjorn Christensen, the secretary of sex and society, Denmark's leading family planning association, told Bloomberg News in October of 2014, we see a lot of people who don't succeed in having children. That being said, no babies before 30. I don't care if the population growth is going down in the United States. No babies before 30 years old. Uh-uh. Disaster. Nightmare. No babies. Commercials like the one described here make a patriotic, if whimsical, appeal to Danish citizens to have more children. But experts debate whether falling fertility rates are a cause for concern or celebration. Some applaud the decrease as a way to slow global population growth and reduce human consumption of limited natural resources. There are other countries facing declining fertility rates as well, including Denmark, France, United Kingdom, and even the United States. We worry about the burdens being placed on a generation smaller than the one before it. If we take a look at this graph, yes, most of these countries that are the U.S. and in Europe do not reach right, replacement rate of two children. So let's watch those little commercials, or at least a clip. See what, see what they're up to in Denmark. Shall we? I think we shall. Can sex save Denmark's future? Denmark has a problem. Fødselsraten er den laveste i 27 år, og der fødes ikke nok børn til at forsørge den aldrende befolkning. Skiftende regeringer har ikke kunne løse problemet, men der må være en løsning. Her er Emma. Hun er oh, look at Emma! We have the same hair! Oh, that's sweet. Uh-oh, she was conceived in this hotel room? Siden tog Emmas forældre en lille sviptur. Ew. On that bed? This week it could tell. Oh. Men det viser sig, at alle danske børn Alright. That's a clip. You can watch the rest, but this one's much, much funnier. Let's take a look. This is part two of Do It for Denmark. Du var der, da din søn skulle lære at gå. Du var der, da han skulle lære at cykle. Og du var der, da han skulle lære at læse. Aww. Men når der skal laves børnebørn, kan det måske godt blive lidt akavet af hjælpetalen. Men for tvivl ikke. Måske ikke <laughs> for ødelæsning. Like that idea either. Back. Som What? måske allerede ved, har man meget mere sex. Really? Oh, interesting. Måske, I love... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Not... Mm, yeah. Men hvad du måske ikke ved, er at emotionen med din partner fremmer sexløsten yderligere. Fordi hjernen udskiller endda fint op. Oh my goodness! 
symptomer, vi kender fra forelskelse og ophidselse. Okay, alright. Oh, oh my goodness. Those Danish, they are just so much. <laughs> Less prudish than the United States. We could never have a commercial like this. What is wrong with us? Look at Grandma. Grandma's gonna just take matters into her own hands now. Look, there was the stork. Grandma's gonna buy them a vacation. There you go. Ooh, uh-oh. Nice. Men hvad nu hvis dit barn ikke er den store holdspiller? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too good. Man ved jo aldrig, hvad lidt aktiv ferie kan føre til. I love it. I love it. Ooh, they both believe in aliens. It's a love connection. All right, there you go, guys. So that's your clip for today. Please read the rest of this chapter so you can do well in your test. Read, learn, live it, learn it, love it. Bye-bye. I better go dye my hair back because I don't think blonde's really my color.